welcome to Season. My name is Jason, and here's my review of Mr. Robot Season 1, completely spoiler free. Here are my brief ratings of every individual episode. If you want to ask about any individual ratings, I'll be happy to go more in depth in the comments. I'll rate the overall seasons with an A to F grade. For now, let's get started. <laughs> Mr. Robot follows Elliot, a severely depressed, delusional, but incredibly intelligent hacker who, with his own sense of justice, hacks into bad people's lives and uses that to ruin them. You'll start watching the first episode thinking it'll end up as a clever copy of Dexter, with the vigilante protagonist narrating his thoughts and providing us with a perspective into his world. But it is so much more than that. Let's just take a step back for a second and say that its editing and cinematography is some of the snappiest and best I've seen in a television show. Yes, it's up there with Breaking Bad, but it really has its own personality in how it uses short siding to frame its characters, how it keeps pace, how it portrays hacking. Oh yeah, it manages to portray hacking in a TV show reasonably accurately while still feeling stylish, delving into social engineering and working people's personal flaws, whilst Elliot himself tries to manage his own personal hell. There's gut-punching plot twists, constant suspense, and fantastic acting, especially from Rami Malek who, well, he looks like Steve Buscemi on a weird day. His character captures the drug-fueled depression with shocking realism, as Elliot has clearly had a troubled and mysterious past. He ends up targeting his frustrations towards taking down E-Corp, sorry, Evil Corp, when a mysterious man called Mr. Robot invites him to join an anti-capitalist hacking group, almost resembling Anonymous, kind of? It takes a lot of points from Fight Club in its anti-establishment mentality. I mean, the hacking group is called F Society. But like Fight Club, it's more about Elliot's mental state of mind than anything else. There's some great characters as well. The young corporate executive sociopath is very American Psycho, or at least on the brink of it. There's Mr. Robot himself, his hacker group, and Elliot's childhood friend as well with her own B-plot which helps keep good pace with the story, even though it's nowhere near as interesting as the story with Elliot. It also feels like a big throwback to 90s hacker thrillers whilst keeping the hacking grounded and fairly realistic. It's self-aware, it's beautifully dark and so well crafted. It is easily the most stylish looking show on TV. Easily. I could name drop things like Utopia, Fight Club, Fargo, but trust me, I think anyone who likes good TV will enjoy this. It's a big surprise and definitely the best new show of this year so far. Oh, and those Kubrick style title sequences are sexy as hell. A plus. Loved it. One of these days I'll review something bad, but it is not today. And that's it. Thank you very so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with all my latest reviews. Next week I'll be reviewing Doctor Who seasons 5 to 8. Before I get round to reviewing the rest of Doctor Who before the new season comes out. If you've seen Mr. Robot, what did you think of it? Did you agree with my review? Please tell me below, but for now, I will see you later.